So um, I just want to pick up kind of where we left off last time. You know, it's been a little while. Been down yeah, with COVID, yeah. back from COVID. COVID Both is us. kicking ass. <laughs> Kicked our ass. Yeah. So now that we're back, we finally got a chance to put out that last piece of material. Um, just want to thank everybody who checked it out. Yeah, appreciate your feedback. Yeah, you definitely your needed comments. the feedback. We're yeah. going to try to sharpen up as much as possible. But, you know, so it's a work in progress. Yeah. So, but, you know, sure. most definitely thank you. Yeah. So we're just going to dive right yeah, into it. We got to get into uh, what COVID is doing to us. It's affecting literally every industry, every walk of life um, that we're in. Uh, and, you know, particularly at this point, we're at the stage of vaccine. And it's a it's a big conversation everywhere. They can walk uh, alike. Nigga, I had it. Couldn't walk. We're <laughs> <laughs> both recipients of COVID. <laughs> the only award we ever got. Holy <laughs> shit, I haven't had it. I ain't won it. I got it at the Navy Yard. How about you? I got it yeah. from you at the fucking yeah. Navy Yard. We live, in, we live in D.C. and uh, and Webb gave me COVID down at the Navy Yard. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, oh, you want to lose some weight and feel terrible? Yo, I don't even want to look at the Navy Yard. I look down there, I'm like, that's a terrible Yo, place. Yeah, yeah, Joe, whoop your ass. So anybody that's had it, anybody that's yeah. lost some family to it, you know what I mean? You feel your pain. Um, but well, Let yeah. me ask this question, though, Webb. Are you taking the vaccine? And if not, if not, I need to hear some credible information as to why. You know my black ass ain't taking that shit. Last time this country gave black people vaccine, you know that. So I'm not interested. Plus, oh, I'll, man, America is trying to do better. I don't understand how you can have all these viruses and diseases exist for years, and you can't come up with shit. Niggas still catching colds and the flu and all this other shit. Yeah, well, they say all of a sudden. Wait a second, though. AIDS still killing niggas. The, the cancer COVID, is still killing niggas. The COVID vaccine is at a 95% success rate, which is more than that. The flu joint is only 70 something. So what I'm saying is this might be the answer to us getting back to normal. You want to go to Soto? You want to go to Marvin's? Take the vaccine. Jones don't exist, so no. Well, some of y'all want to go to the casino and gamble. You want to do it? You got to take the vaccine. I just, I don't trust that shit. Like, how, how when it first came up, you had whoever the fuck, Fauci and whoever was on the joint talking about, it's going to take a year to come over with a vaccine, blah, blah, blah. These niggas in three weeks went in the kitchen, put some shit in the pot, and came out with a vaccine. I, I don't thought trust Operation that. Warp Speed was good. I don't trust nothing he say neither. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nature shit Warp Speed, he on his way out. That's the Thank fact. God. Yeah. But I don't, I don't trust that shit. I just well, I Joe Biden said he's gonna take it on camera in front of everybody. They get white and, people and Kamala said the same thing. It's gonna be different than what they get my black ass somewhere. So I ain't trusting this shit. I think well, it's about to be a doctor. there's something there though. Like when you look at it, going further down, like not college, not high school, but elementary. We got kids like in the hood. The kids like over here in Southeast in DC. Yeah, these kids not in school. Sometimes the only meal they get is from school. Sometimes the only love and care and that they get is from school because they house is so crazy, the family situation, whatever. And now they're not getting this in-person instruction. How the fuck are they supposed to move on from that? Like, how are they getting just the basics of education? Yeah. When you stuck in the house now, your house... Listen, that that twelve hundred dollars then ran out. That yeah. first stimulus check has been gone. Yeah, that been gone. Yeah, my dad. I mean, unless jail, you took it and flipped it, and I mean, I don't know what you would put but your no, money in. Dad in jail. Mom spent half of it on some dope, and spent mm -hmm. the other half on whatever the fuck. Some red bottoms. And, and like you stuck in the hood, and like you might eat one time a day, and your second meal might be chips. Mm. So what is happening like with them when you when you in the crib? And you stuck, and you doing this online education, and then like teachers was like, "Yo, the kids not jumping on, and when they on, they not paying attention." But they like, look, the kids can't articulate it, right? Right. right but they right. really dealing with is my house is fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on it. I'm with you on it. I think, and I think that's why I got to give a shout out to uh, uh, brother Harold McCray, um, who's the principal over here at Stanton uh, Elementary in Southeast. You need a person like him because 
he understands that not everybody's home environment looks the same. So yeah, you're giving out a Chromebook to all the kids, but some of them got Wi-Fi, some of them don't. Some of them got distractions in the crib, some of them don't. And I think he's somebody that, you know, can understand the dynamics. That's why you have to have diversity um, at some of these schools because some folks get it and some don't. And you talked about some real stuff that some of these kids only meal is when they go to school. And, you know, that's something that in some areas we understood it. That's why they started, you know, to bust the meals over to the kids, even at their crib, you know what I mean? Because they realized that. But I mean, man, like you said, that there was a point in America where they thought that robotics and automation could take place of a human being. I mean, this is said we can reduce our workforce right. and plug it in with automation. And I think what we're realizing is that doesn't quite work. There's nothing like the human touch. No, but I think this situation is really exposing and exploiting the neighborhoods that are lacking the funding, lacking the, the attention from yeah. Whatever local government, whatever yeah. local officials, they didn't give a fuck before, and now they really don't care. But now those people are struggling. Yeah. They have, which, what the fuck way are they gonna talk about it? Like, how are they gonna get that word out? Like, hey, look, I was struggling when the world was normal. Right. But it's I've a surge saying, upon a surge. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's what Fauci said. But luckily, it's, mom or dad yeah. might have been working whatever odd job, odd right, days right, they could, right. but now I'm stuck home. I had my mom worked at a retail store. That was the way she bought a check home to feed me. But now that retail store been shut down for the past ten months. Right, right. Well, yeah. What the fuck is happening now? Like, and if you're talking about a kid that's supposed to be jumping online, but all right, I'm I'm logging on to to you know what I mean go to class for the day when I'm seven years old. But mom got a another a three year old. So mm -hmm. three year old running around crazy. Mom and dad, and if she got a doctor's appointment, got to go somewhere, whatever, right. whatever, guess what? I got to go with her. Right. All the kids got. So right. guess what? I'm not online that day. Or if yeah. mom is still working, right. she got to drop me off to grandma. Is grandma logging me the fuck on every day? Does she even know what we talking about? Granny? How old is Granny well, these days? Well, well, granny, 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 my age. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah, Granny, my Granny, age. only 40? Yeah, yeah that's facts. <laughs> granny got a Brazilian. She <laughs> got a <laughs> Granny, fuck around, I'll have some red pops. <laughs> oh, fuck around, I got Granny. No, <laughs> Where I'm hollering at Granny at the bus stop. <laughs> Yo, my quarter, she's playing the Yo, I got grandkids, James. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Granny Whoa. getting younger, dog. <laughs> Gotta be careful with Granny. But that even mean, like, so Granny could still be going to a job. Yeah. Or have to log on to some shit she got to do working yeah. from home. Who is really policing these kids and making sure that they checking in online? I'm like this shit it was just it's man, not designed to help us. Well in my in my particular situation, so my daughter still goes, she's in pre K. So she still goes to the facility for, you know, her pre K program. I got my son at home who's in kindergarten. And oftentimes his classmates they got twins in the crib. They got three kids in the crib in three different grades at three different schools. Mm -hmm. And you got a parent in the crib trying to uh, orchestrate that. Meanwhile, he got a job, right? So he got to be able to, to, to work virtually and, you know what I mean, take care of three kids who are in a school virtually. And uh, it's 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 a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. It, it, it it's it's uh, it's unfortunate what this what this virus has done to your friend. While we here, out to let's just talk about some 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 black brands that we support. Um, this particular hoodie came from Uncle Bobby's uh, bookstore, uh, Mark Lamont Hills, Germantown Ave, Philly, Germantown Ave, most hey, from um, the crib. So you know, yeah. I went in there and bought it when. The world was still open, but you can still order online. I just ordered some shit that touched down the other day. So good looking out, Uncle Bobby's bookstore. And then, of course, we got... We got a uh, uh, Dear Friend Apparel. Uh, I think it's DearFriendApparelLLC.com uh, where you can go and, and support this brand. 
Um, I'm rocking the generational uh, wealth sweatshirt, which is something we absolutely got to uh, start to instill in the black community. We so far behind uh, because of uh, what they've done to us uh, in slavery uh, that we've got to start to build generational wealth, whether that is uh, with dollars or whether that's with knowledge. But it's something we got to do. Um, so... Let me ask you this. I'm going to switch completely. Oh, Lord. Hey, we should probably you? cut it right here. Let <laughs> <laughs> me just ask you something that just came up. Mm -hmm. When you, not talking your specific situation, I'm talking hypothetically right. speaking. Right. Right. When you get your, your girlfriend, your wife, whatever it's going to be, your, your partner, whatever. Do you want to be as filthy with her as you really have been or think about? Like, are you comfortable with that? Like, just being filthy, nasty, dirty, and, like, just living like that? Is that it? It's been an ongoing conversation. It's like, well, the things, this is a conversation I've had before. Let me just say, um, if this is Broad Street in Philly, he just made a sharp turn down Spring Garden. Good God Almighty, you, you really just switched this joint. Uh, I think, I think particularly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak for the for the marriage lane because I'm married. Uh, I said hypothetical. I'm gonna talk about your specific situation. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about my specific. You get the right to do it. You get the right to be as downright filthy as you want to be. All right. The other piece of that is, prior to getting married, you probably want to be as filthy and nasty as you want to be because you're courting that person. You're trying to make that forever. So you going out there, you leaving it all on the floor, all on the floor, with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. So you laying it all out. But on the other side of this, once you married and you know, it's way down the line. While you have the right, um, it just don't happen. Oh, shit. And I know there's a lot of niggas that's married that's watching me right now. And a lot of them can agree. A lot of them don't. Some people, vanilla sex or whatever you want to call like regular, you know, sex is just they lane. That's they thing. But if you was really like, if you like doing some nasty shit, some freak, na like whatever. Freak nasty. Bust it wide. That's, that's what he was about to say. Freak, freak nasty. nasty shit. Bust it wide. All the way. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, like, if that was your thing, and that's what you started with her, yeah. you should bring that forward. But even if you didn't... It's not going to bring... Why can't it's you not bring it? Forward. Why can't you bring it yeah. and keep that going? Or like... But then like... It's because some real other shit. things at play. How comfortable are you telling your wife, like, yo, your girl, whatever, like, no matter what you got, how comfortable are you telling your girl, yo, I want to do anal tonight? And she looking like, what oh, you talking about? Yeah. Or, yo. Damn. Let's go you just, you just going to do anal first? As a, <laughs> even, even as an example. That's it. That's like, the first bullet. Anal? I want to do anal. And she Sheesh. looking at you like, what you talking about? Like, yo, I mean, let's, let's do something. Like, we here. Or, can you tell whoever... Let's get another girl. What 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 what's lane are we talking about? Are we talking about marriage or, or a girlfriend? Well, I understand the fact. Well, why can't it, like whatever? Like I said, whatever your partner, whoever your partner is, like yeah, there's some wild relationships out there. I mean, but, some people are uh, polygamous. <laughs> Some no, swingers, by the summer, by the on that. Like, I mean, you can be married you? and be a swinger. But can you look your wife in the eye and be like, "Yo, I want you to suck my dick more often than you do." Right now, you sucking it twice yes. a month. That's why I, that. So that's why I preface this by saying, you get the right to see when you marry. You get the right to ask that question. Like, you can ask so that question. Why are you not sucking my dick more? Because not like you can go to nowhere else and get it or do it. Or why I only got to have sex, like, at night after everything is calmed down and you 
come shit, to bed with this shit, wild shit on, yeah, the scarf shit, and the fucking... Shit becomes a thermostat that's provided to you by ADT or Vivid. This shit's on a schedule. It's it's less that shit corny, like, that shit trash, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go through that. Yeah. Like, if I'm telling, if I'm telling you, hey, like, listen, I want to just get to it. I walk in the living room, let's get down. Now, I understand kids is running around, you can't just get down. But yeah. if you got the fucking opportunity. Yeah. Well, wait, though. We So, the conversation that we just had, I feel like it's been from the man's perspective. Right. That's all I am is a man. Flip it though. What if the woman is the aggressor and your ass is tired? So now I I I, I don't know. Woman aggressor who can't get laid at home. Have you ever had a woman might, come to you and say she wanted to have sex and you told her you was tired, you you want to do it? Not me specifically. No. I've done it. And it's not the greatest feeling, honestly. Like, seriously, I've done it and been like and I felt like Yo, that's some sucker ass shit. Like, you get mad when a woman hits you with that, and then I've been like, yo, I'm really tired. And but you got a sacrifice for that thing of yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it's true. That, that that that's on both sides of the aisle. Like you 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 might not feel like that person do. And you gotta, what if you gotta what if your partner, your girl, your wife, whatever, she tell you, hey, look, why are you not eating my pussy more? Well, I want you to lick my ass. Or I want mm. you to use these toys on me. I don't want to use the vibrator while we have it. Like, I don't like toys. I don't like them. This ain't, this ain't, no, this ain't no comedy <laughs> shit. Don't bring some shit in here that I could do. But others will feel like, hey, toys. But you can't, you can't penetrate and vibrate at the same time. What you? What's no, no, that? Okay. If you penetrate, I got Parkinson's. When you start vibrating, it's gonna be because you' about to go <laughs> down. Oh, you' about to go yeah, down. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but uh, what? Yeah. Like, if she say, like, I want to use, I want you to use this toy while you know, what I mean, oh, I want to use a vibrator while we have sex. Like, that's a conversation we should be able to have. Everybody not gonna agree to the shit, but at least we can have it. But it's not easy to have that conversation. So, so um, upfront men. So, uh, at a high level, I think what 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 are you saying here? You got to keep things spicy. You got to be able to live on the edge. You got to be able to, you know, you, you know, you got to think about the other person. Really, what what's that person in the mood for? Is is the question because that's a scale. Not every night you want to get into crazy shit. The, the, the part that is it for me is like, how do you have that conversation? Like, that's an uncomfortable conversation sometimes. And I think it's uncomfortable when you're having it for the first, second, fourth, whatever time. But if you having them type of talks, it shouldn't be as uncom uncomfortable. Like, it should be like, hey, look, by the way, I was thinking about blah, blah, blah. And y'all have a talk about it. And you reach some type of resolution. Like, oh, we'll try that next time. Well, no, that's that's off the table. But here's something we could try or whatever. But how easy is it to look your wife and I and be like, yo, I want you to suck my dick more. Well, I, you know, I'm I'm gonna be a little bit contrary to what you just said. I don't like playing shit. Like mm -hmm. I know when I get off, like all day at work, I got a plan for shit. Yeah, my calendar's like back to fucking out. back. I don't want to be like, yo, when I get off yeah. at 7 tonight, I got to do some crazy shit. I never like playing I gotta I'm talking about climb up the her, fucking wall. I just want you to suck my dick more. That's all. Oh, you, do, you should be able to say that. What's wrong with that? That's not an easy conversation to fucking have. I know. A lot, some of them want you to just be, uh, they want you to be textbook with it, you know. I want you to shake that gluteus maximus. They don't, they don't like... Sharp words like but suck what if you dick, like, yo, you know, I want to you know. rub you down a fucking baby oil before. I want you to be shiny as fucking slippery before I, before we get busy. That's what I want to do tonight. I want you to put on a thong, come to me with just a thong. I'm going to rub you down the oil. And then we're going to bust this thing out. You can say that? And that's you the kind of things you can say. You, you, should, you should be able to. But should you gotta, be. You it gotta, could be. It's two fucking different well, things. Well, you got to know who you're dealing with. And you shouldn't be with them if they ain't with that shit. Because you... You but how do you know if she not like she may not even think she is till she try? Yeah, yeah, that's true. First time she did it, she liked it. Hey, that's possible. 
Niggas be scared to have that talk with their wife or their girlfriends. And then girlfriends be scared to have that talk with their boyfriends and shit. Like, so, yeah. you know. But you, you got to be able to... I mean, the reality is you got to be able to keep your Dan at home. Because them motherfuckers are slip and slide on you. You know what I mean? And, 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 and dudes... Dudes talk all the big shit. But a woman to slip out on your ass so you won't even know. Like a like a like a like a waffle house out this bitch. <laughs> with, a, with a side bacon. <laughs> you won't even know. Like my dad said, it still the draws right over. <laughs> no man. I mean but you know that that's that's a that's a good topic that uh that you brought up there